All right, uh, the two Airedales, Baron and Kaiser, are uh, 22 weeks old. And they're really huge. They're they're bigger than uh, Blondie now. This is Jimmy. Jimmy came from Gallup, New Mexico. They're just going to kill him, and he's here alive. He's a shepherd mix. He's absolutely a gem of a dog. Jimmy, come here, Jimmy, please. Good dog, Jimmy. He knows, he knows to come when called. It's just a wonderful dog, sparkling, beautiful eyes. Just a gorgeous guy. I'm not sure what he's mixed with. Um, it's a well-behaved, beautiful dog, and uh, he'll be available for adoption. Fixed, chipped, shots, everything, ready to go. And this is Kaiser, red collar. He's really huge. You can see he's approaching the size of uh, Jimmy, who's a German Shepherd mix. They eat everything in sight. Power cords, sheets, beds, um, shoes, shirts. I've been pretty careful to not let them um, destroy more shit. But uh, they're doing they're doing good. You can see they're. Yeah, this phone, this phone or camera seems to have issues zooming in on stuff. Not sure what that's related to. Maybe the battery. But uh, there's Jimmy. Wish I could keep him, but wish I could keep them all. But uh, yeah, this is, this would be a great dog for somebody. An absolutely wonderful dog. You know, you get these dogs and you wonder what the what the hell are they dumped in shelters for, you know. Like I say, I really believe in karma. You dump a dog in a shelter and something bad's coming your way. One way or the other, something bad is coming your way. Whether your family's going to abandon you or somebody's going to abandon you that you're counting on. That's just how the, the universe works. There may be a God, there may not be a God, but... Uh, Somehow there's like laws of the universe that just uh, that just rewards assholes, and uh, that's what I believe. You dump a dog, maybe you'll just end up in a cancer ward one day, all alone. Nobody gives a shit about you, or you'll end up in a rest home. Nobody gives a flying fuck about you. Look at that dog, just absolutely fantastic dog. These guys will chew up anything. They like soup bones. They can turn a soup bone into powder. This is their backyard. So I don't really do much with it. It's completely theirs. They do what they want out here. But they're like 22 weeks now. And uh, Kaiser's pretty animated. And uh, gregarious. Baron is very timid and withdrawn and uh, introverted. And Blondie is uh, extremely extroverted. Blondie is the ringleader, one of the smartest dogs I've ever had. See, he's looking to eat plums right off the tree. But the plums are all gone. They just take a bite out of them and spit them out. Oh, I made a carport. So. Actually, my friends did. I paid them. And uh, I just don't have any time. But uh, it's all good. It works. 
It's huge. Rain goes right off of it. About 500 materials and 500 labor. And uh, I can fit the fit two more cars down there. I got way too much stuff. See, there's Baron, black collar. I think whoever cut his tail, well, they call it cropping. I call it mutilation. Um, they didn't cut it as short as uh, like the AKC cuts them. But uh, I'm I'm like not into mutilating dogs' ears or what have you. Kaiser, did somebody bite you on the side there? Come here. No, Baron, 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 Baron. Come here, sweetie. Okay, come here. Okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, somebody bit you. Great. You're playing too hard. <sighs> yeah, they play this bitey face game where they bite each other in the face and wherever all day long. I don't know what, if there's a human equivalent to that. But, uh, anyway, I'll just do an update on the Airedales, 22 weeks and they're this size, they're huge. But, uh, you know, adopt a dog from a shelter, I mean, there's wonderful dogs like this in shelters, I doubt you're ever going to see an Airedale Terrier in a shelter. You'll never see a Welsh Terrier in a shelter. Um, but uh, but Jimmy's a fantastic dog and he'd like to have a home. I know he's going to be adopted really quickly, but you can see he doesn't. his main body isn't even a solid black. It's, uh, it's almost like uh, he has that Catahoula uh, kind of camo where it's not one solid color. Almost like Dalmatian, but larger spots so he's got some interesting genetics but then again you see like with the German Shepherd he's got a black body and blonde limbs just like these Airedale Terriers black body and blonde limbs yeah Jimmy I know I'd like to keep you too but I can't you're gonna have to find a home soon we'll find you one don't worry but I've never had a dog that I rescued that didn't find a home, period. You know, but it's, it's tough finding decent people because there's just very few decent people in the world anyway. 99% of people to me are just assholes. You know, I mean, who, who the hell dumps a dog in a shelter? You know, that's, to me, that's textbook asshole behavior. Yeah. Yeah, lined up the cars in here. This is gonna work. Let's take a look at this. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Okay. Let's just take a look what we got here. Did you get bit? Hang on. What do you got going on there? Easy. I know. I know it hurts. Okay. All right. He just bite you then. Is that what it is? Okay. That's part of having dogs, they like to bite. That looks pretty superficial. If it, if it had pus coming out of it, probably want to treat it. But uh, it's all good. I'm, we don't even have spiders out here, you know, so I'm not worried about that. There's Jimmy. Such a handsome guy, huh? Good dog. See, there it is, bitey face game, all day, 24-7. Yeah, for some reason this camera doesn't zoom or zoom out. It's got to be a battery issue. Okay. Man, to have that kind of energy.
Baron. See, he doesn't even know his name. He's he just really bonded with Blondie, and so he ignores me. Whereas Kaiser, Kaiser knows his name. He's a good guy. Yeah, my my one Airedale Rienzi, she died of splenic cancer at 13. My other Airedale is 17, almost 18 years old. And that's from uh, eating human food, not 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 garbage that just falls off the slaughterhouse uh, table. Eating real sausage, bratwurst, um, real meats, real cheeses, and kibble, and and real bread. And um, and bananas. If they eat real food, they're gonna live. The Google preservatives and canine cancer. Google that and see what you come up with. There's a famous vet who uh, did a study on that, and uh, he his he promotes the idea that the majority of these canine cancers are all related to the high level of preservatives in uh, dog foods which uh, I would tend to agree with because your body won't metabolize that shit. But uh, another issue with the uh, with uh, the dog food is it probably comes out of China and they throw asbestos and everything. So, I mean, that's why you get the talcum cap powder lawsuits. It's all asbestos. And uh, yeah, they're eating some grapes here, but they just chew them and spit them out. So, I'm, I'm aware of that. All right, gang, go rescue a dog in a shelter or a cat, fix your pets, fix them so they don't just get killed. You know, they have the same emotions as a decent person would have. They feel fear and terror and loneliness and all those negative shitty emotions being dumped in shelters. And they're not shelters, they're kill stations, that's all they are. But uh, it's easier to just not look at that issue and deal with it than, uh, than deal with it because most people are, you know, they just want to watch TV and sex up, booze up, smoke pot, overeat, and uh, just do anything to take them away from the right now, the here and now, and and how painful life can be. And that's what all that's about. All right, gang, we'll see you on the next YouTube. I'll we'll probably have a, another dog to show you.